Hey guys, Jay Hatch, your sales and lease consultant at Whitby Mazda. This is day three of the uh, COVID-19 coronavirus situation um, quarantine. Again, I do not have the virus and thankful for that. My heart goes out to those who are dealing with health issues in that regard. Uh, it's pretty scary actually. Uh, I'm in the Durham region and um, what is this white line I'm seeing? I guess that's some, oh, it's from the moon. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think it's like, 6 a.m. right now or 6.30. I just finished my run and uh, a little darker than normal when I'm videoing this, but I thought, hey, why not? Um, but yeah, anyways, there was a guy in his 40s, apparently. This is what I saw, Durham Radio News. Um, haven't had it confirmed elsewhere, but contracted the, uh, the COVID-19 virus, worked at the Loblaws in Oshawa, and uh, he's in his 40s and passed away a few days later after being hospitalized that scares the hell out of me um and i'm in my my early 40s um but i mean i don't know if he had any pre-existing medical conditions respiratory issues whatever but it scares the hell out of me to think that if it starts <clears throat> right now obviously if our, our greatest fear is for uh, seniors and rightfully so um if it's Hitting a man in his 40s, I mean, that's the workforce that's looking after the seniors. And, uh, you know, that's our nurses, doctors, and a lot of them are younger than that as well, I know, but, you know, police are back in the um, first responders. Um, but if it can start hitting guys in their 40s that quickly, um, you know, what about our children? Anyways, so that's on my mind right now. Um, and yeah, I see that. On social media and then the next thing I see on social media is a guy I know a fantastic guy I'm gonna say his name Ryan McIntosh he's a fantastic guy he's in car sales um, the local dealership and uh, <clears throat> he's stuck on the on the sales floor you know he's, he's just looking around saying I'm doing my part for social distancing because there's literally nobody around to buy a car uh, which makes sense why would anybody buy a car I don't understand why Doug Ford Premier of Ontario decided that car sales is essential I know somebody needs to buy a car because their car died and they have to get to work I know but I just figured there's other ways around that anyways so that's what's going through my mind right now um, things are shutting down um, everybody's talking about obviously wash your hands wash your hands and uh, it's pretty nuts I'm trying to keep busy here um, getting up early sticking to my routine like I'm saying to you guys, the sun's starting to come up. It's a new day. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. That's gorgeous. You see? Talking all these horrible things about the virus, and yet we get to enjoy sunset like that. The scary thing is that now everybody is, right? Um, so, yeah, keep productive. Um, the online education, I said in my video yesterday, I was going to get my, my kids on that. And then I realized when I looked into it, the Ontario online education is for grades uh, 9 to 12, so high school. And then for kids younger, that's TVO. Um, so I guess I've got to look at TVO online. Um, but if you do that, you can also you can download some math uh, PDF, um, some math stuff, which is great. You can go through that with your kids. And then you know what? You can actually just start, you know, maybe teach them to cook, teach them to do some chores around the house, some fun things, uh, spend some time around the house, setting them up so it's easier for if you got young ones, they can grab their own cups and plates and that kind of stuff um, we have a barbecue that we bought um, just before all this went down glad we got it then because we would not be going out to buy something now and my wife's putting great use to that thank you Karen and the box we spent some time turning that into a house <laughs> so little things like that you can do right um, anyways just kind of ranting and rambling right now Hope you guys are all staying productive, sticking to uh, to uh, some routine, to keep yourself busy. I made a whole bunch of videos yesterday. I actually lost hours and hours of video footage uh, because of an issue with my video editing software. Um, I got upset, but I didn't get angry. I got angry maybe for a minute. Um, but you know what I did? I went into my uh, my demo, which is a 2020 Mazda CX-5 GT, and. Uh, I um, started making some videos for that about features within the Mazda. 
and because all of my other stuff was deleted, I had room on my phone that I could make these videos, and then I could edit them. What's up, AJ? I could edit them, and then I could uh, post those. So I'll be doing one of those a day on my YouTube channel. I'll be continuing to post on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And you guys know you can always reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm seeing a lot of guys in the car business now that they've got time at home with their families. They're starting to promote themselves and market themselves a little bit online, as well as all other industries. And it's just absolutely great to see, you know. It's great to see people getting real, you know. Um, there's another sales guy, uh, Bryant at Ajax Mazda. And uh, he did a live um, Instagram video with his daughter, just talking about things that you know, reasons why he's passionate about Mazdas and why he's in the business and he's at home laid off you know like most of us as well and this is great to see that people are getting real um, marketing themselves and spending some time doing something that either they wouldn't bother spending time on or they um, just don't have time for you know because you have to prioritize everything um, and I think right now while we're at home it's a good way to prioritize productivity at home um, just move stuff around, reorganize furniture, stop for a second and think about things. You know, would my life be a little easier if I did that and did this and been thinking about it and just get around to it? You know, reorganize your kitchen. I had a cupboard full of way too many pots and pans. It drove me nuts every morning. I'm trying to clean the kitchen for Karen before she comes downstairs. And I tried to do it so quietly and I got pots and pans falling over each other, making noise. I did a complete reorganize, reorganize of that cupboard and the other cupboards. And now life is just a little bit better. All these little things makes life just a little bit better. So maybe spend some time going around your house doing things like that. Um, during my run, of course, I listen to my audiobooks, uh, which help build my skill set. Um, not just in sales, but as a father, as a husband. And, um, and also, uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts, which are motivational podcasts. And I find the funny thing about motivational podcasts is you listen to it and it sounds great because you're like, yeah, that sounds good, I'm going to do that. And you start getting excited and fantasizing. Yeah, you said to get up early and do this. You said to make lists and charts and do that. And then you, and then he says his next point, you're like, yeah, that's a good one. By the time he's done, you've forgotten the first 18 out of the 20 points, the last two you're thinking about. And then you go to the next podcast and that's talking about, you know, something completely different. And, and you never actually start doing what you know what you what you heard about what you learn so what I do what I find helps for me anyways is if it's a good podcast I'll listen to it like three times because usually when I'm listening to it I'm either running or driving in the car or I'm doing something else and um, and uh, if I listen to it and then I play it again I play it again I play it again it's stuck in my head because anybody who knows me knows I do not have a great memory. At least, I don't think, I don't remember having a good memory. Anyways, but yeah, so let's do it over and over again. That way it's stuck in my head. And that way, by the time I get home, I'm remembering it and I can take action. So, for example, this morning it was all about um, to-do lists. Daily, weekly, monthly. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on that now. Because I hammered it into my brain. And that's the whole point of listening to this stuff and taking in this content. It's not just for fun, right? If it was for fun, I'd be listening to the other stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, that's my morning rant ramble. This is day three. You can tell I'm going a little nuts. I um, wish I was at the dealership helping people buy cars because that's what I'm, one of the things I'm passionate about. You guys can always reach out to me anytime. You can call me or text me just to say hi, ask me questions. Um, 905-391-1637. You can email me at jhatcherwithmazda.com. Hit me up on my social media. Anyways, guys, stay productive, stay healthy, stay safe. Wash your hands. Peace.